Hello, how are we guys doing? So, it's been a while since we last taught. Um, a lot has happened. We have started the meditation studio, we've been running classes, we've had a few inquiries, We're slowly building together. So, today, you know, like I said in one of my other videos, uh, philosophies are something, you know, uh, it's like an art. It's something you paint, it's something you enjoy. And this video is going to be a bit more philosophical. And so is the next one. However, I don't want you to believe me. I don't. I just simply am sharing what I have experienced in my own experience. You might resonate with it, you might not resonate with it. Either way is fine. So just take it like a story and it might just clarify some things that you have uh, questions in. So what are we discussing today? We are discussing what is karma. So karma, a lot of people talk about you know good karma, bad karma, there's a lot of like myths about it here and there. Today I want to very simple terms clarify for you what is this thing and just put it to bed forever so what is karma karma the meaning of the word is action right good action bad action and usually people think that oh if you do good you know uh, good things will happen with you but I want to make a change to that statement. Not do good, but rather if you be good, good things will happen for you. What's the difference? Intention is a lot more important than the action, right? And you have to realize that there is no external party, third person sitting outside who's like, oh, what? Oh, you're doing good. I'm going to make sure good things are going to happen to you. That is no judge sitting outside. It's very, it's a lot more simpler and scientific than that. How? What happens is when, for example, right, you are angry, you are, um, you know, a, a certain type of emotion is inside you. Like maybe like you're just like really frustrated with yourself and that starts showing to others you know you start you know acting um, you know, for example you might go slap someone right now what happens is that you have this sort of um, energetic charge or this sort of uh, conditioning in your subconscious right and so law of attraction do you know what law of attraction is? What the secret talks about? We'll make a video on that as well. But the basic underlying thing is that how you feel, how you think is the kind of reality you are going to create for yourself around you. So when you have this sort of energetic buildup which is quote negative, then you are going to be attracting it to yourself. Just like... Just like uh, matter attracts other matter. Okay, that's not a good example. <laughs> but um, basically, like attracts like. So however you are vibrating, whatever frequency you are resonating at is the kind of experience that you are going to attract to yourself. And a lot of people think that, oh, you know what I do bad today is going to come back to me 20 years from now. That could happen, but that doesn't have to happen. What's a lot more important is who you are in this moment because time has nothing to do with karma. 
everyone talks about oh every action has an equal and opposite reaction so if you do good today maybe not today but 20 years from now you get it back or if you do bad today if you slap someone today you can get slapped back 20 years from now however what they fail to realize is that this equal and opposite reaction happens now every single time you go hit a tree you go punch the tree in this moment the tree is going to hit you back you're standing on the ground the ground is holding you up right now it's not saying oh you you stand here and then i'll 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 hold you up 20 years from now and you just let it lets you fall now no it doesn't happen <laughs> so let's say someone is very angry right and um you know and he's very like he just is so frustrated that he goes and beats up a lot of people but tomorrow if he has a real realization and he goes deep in himself faces this frustration lets it go then that karma does not have to come back to him because at that present moment he is going to be changed and he's going to be attracting a lot more beautiful things and this is the reason why for example like many other religions christianity says if you accept god even a second before your death all your sins will be forgiven but all that is happening is well you accept god but the first step before that is you have to accept and forgive yourself and when you do that all sins are forgiven and you are rid of your karma so summing it up karma for a lot of people especially the bad stuff is just the stink coming out of their subconsciousness so just sit down start meditating perhaps go deep inside yourself and cleanse this this dirt and change your karma see you guys next time thanks for watching